Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now I was I got into something yesterday that we need to, you know, continue and so you get the, the, the full knowledge of it. You see, Jesus gave the instruction in Mark 16. He says, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Then Jesus said, He that believeth and is baptized. Now I was letting you know that Jesus wasn't talking about water baptism. See? See, now so you know, people say, So is it wrong? To be baptized after all the disciples they they baptized people yes the disciples baptized people you know but you know if you read the book of john john specifically mentioned that jesus himself did not baptize anyone see john said that you know but you see even after jesus left the disciples were still for example when it's utopian you know god saved you know philip was preaching to him and then they got to the river he says this is river why um, don't you just baptize me now you see even the disciples did not fully understand this now because now remember most some, most most of the disciples of jesus like at least two or three of them came from john the baptist and john came preaching water baptism see he was preaching repentance then he was baptizing people with water but like i said in in matthew 3 verse 11 jesus um, john himself said i my job is to baptize with water because that was what god sent him to do see god sent him go baptize with water but then tell them that there is someone that is coming with a different kind of baptism see and then what kind of baptism john said he will baptize you with the holy spirit or, or like old king james would be with the holy ghost now you may have been baptized with water and you think you are saved if you are not baptized with the Holy Ghost, you are not saved. Now listen, the, the work of salvation in itself is not about an act that you do. See? It's about what Jesus did for us. Now the job we need to do is to believe in what Jesus has done for us. Now then, if you said, okay, our job is to believe, so how do I know that I have believed? Or how do I know that I'm saved? Jesus said, he that believeth and is baptized. Now, if it is water baptism, then it's all physical. So I, someone comes, you know, just like John. You know, actually, I think I should read this thing to you. Matthew chapter 3 verse 5. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the regions round about Jordan and were baptized of him in Jordan confessing their sins. Now look at verse 7. Everybody was coming to John to be baptized. But look at what happened. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said to them, O generation of vipers who have warned you to flee from the rocks to come. Come on, John. You are baptizing people and these guys have come to be baptized. And look at what he's doing. He looked up and he saw the Pharisees. They were not coming to arrest him. They were coming to be baptized by him. And look at what he said to them. Oh, generation of vipers who have warned you to flee from the rots to come. Praise God. Verse 8, he says, Bring forth therefore fruit worthy of repentance. And think not to say within yourself, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Now look at verse 10. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the tree. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Then he now went in verse 11 to say, I baptize. Now watch what he's saying. Okay, look at verse 12. He says, who's fan? You know, he just said he's, he shall baptize with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And, and that's another thing I need to get across to you. Holy Ghost baptism and fire baptism, they are not the same thing. They are two separate things. You see, the same, this, they are not for the same people. Holy Ghost baptism is for the believers. Then fire baptism is not for the believers. I know, I know a lot of you have been going to baptize us with your fire. No, 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 please. <laughs> don't call that fire praise god you know why it's for those who cannot be baptized with the holy ghost it's for those who shall be damned fire baptism is actually to be dipped into fire and the only thing the bible referred to being dipped into fire is the lake of fire did you get that so it's not for the believer 
So the same way the believer is dipped into the Holy Ghost is the same way that those that cannot believe, they are dipped into the lake of fire. You know, that's at the end of the day. See? So when they cannot be baptized in the Holy Ghost, they shall be baptized with fire. So it is not the same thing. But John said, that's Jesus' job. Did you understand what I'm sharing with you? Because I've got to continue on this tomorrow. But get this, get this, get this. Number one, the baptism Jesus talked about is not water baptism. Secondly, John said Jesus would baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And it's not for the same people. So you are to be baptized with the Holy Ghost not to be baptized with fire. Praise God. I'll continue from here tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.